What's going on, world? You already know what time it is. It's your girl, Nikki. Hey, your boy, D, man. We'll be back today with another podcast episode. Let's get it. Let's go, baby girl. Baby girl, how you feel? I man. feel good. I'm feeling good today. Yo, man, I feel good too, man. Well, you already know, man. Today is a light conversation. We're doing convo and chill. You say convo and, and chill. You say convo and, and chill. chill. All right, man. <laughs> it's nothing serious. About to get into these questions. Answer it to the best of our ability. And yo. We'll see what happens from there. You already know what time it is. Nikki, you got first, baby I girl. I got first. Okay, got I'm going to go down and get me a card. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's go. I'll choose this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. If someone proposed to their partner at your wedding and you didn't know it was going to happen, would you be upset or happy for them? So someone's Yo. getting married. Loki, me being me, I'd be amped. I'd be like, bro, it's our day. Like, why, why didn't you tell me? Because if you told me, I would have been like, yo, let's get it popping. Like, yo, now yo, how could we up this? Like, because I don't really care. Like, yeah. I want to see you win, yo. I don't mind sharing my day with somebody else if it's a monumental moment for them. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, it's a good look for them. So, I mean, yeah, but the fact that you didn't tell me, like, nigga, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing? What about you? I think my initial is like, first of all, <laughs> It's my day. You're not going to do that. It Mm. also depends on at what point of the wedding they're doing it at. If it's like at the reception part. Yeah, like at the end. Like, you're about to dance. Yeah. All All right, cool. It also depends on who it is. Yeah, so hold on. Say if it happens right after the first dance. (laughs) At whose wedding? (laughs) Could we cut the cake from? At whose wedding? Because it's not my wedding. Because my brother is going to turn up speed and your sisters are going to go left. So Big Fox. No. (laughs) At some point in the wedding, you know, a little later on down the night, like later on. Like, like, yo, you could do your thing. Yeah. Just let us know. Yeah. If you let us know, 100%, Dean will even Mm -hmm. bring in a dance team for you. Like, let us know. Big Fox. Let (laughs) us know. All right, yo. All right, yo. That's dope. I think that's fair, though. Like, that's fair. Yeah. Next question. I got it. Should you tell your partner everything or is keeping some things private needed for a healthy relationship? You answer that first, yo. Because let me find out. Ooh. you. Let me find out you out here hiding things, okay? No, <laughs> okay. I, because of the relation. Okay, so I'm going to speak for myself. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that's what you want anyways. Mm-hmm. So, us being us, don't mm-hmm. look at me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Us being us, we tell each other everything as far as I'm Do concerned. We? I do. Okay. Do, do. Like, you got a track on my do, phone too? Do we? Do we? Like, let me find out. Do we? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, us being us, we tell each other everything. No. Um, we pretty much spend all of our days together. And so if something happens, if it's something that happens on a phone call, yo, babe, guess what? You know what I mean? So mm. we pretty much share everything. If it's like a one-on-one type thing that happens to somebody and they specifically say, like, yo, yeah. I need you to keep this in a box and not say anything. You have my word that I'm okay. not going to okay. say anything. All right, yeah. I, I, um, I'm, I'm 100% like that. I will that. hold that. However, if it is detrimental to myself, oh, I'm choking, to myself and or my family, immediately no, no which I don't think you would There was me. one time where, like, that actually happened, and you remember, <laughs> you were just weren't having it. Like, one time, when? someone told me something. Was it? Someone told me something. I said, like, yo, I can't say anything. Well, you felt like, oh, what in the world? But then later on, you're oh, just like, yes. oh, that I get it. That was weird, I get guys. It. Yeah, because, yo, you know what? You know what? In all actuality, what it was, she's just used to me like, yo, I don't hide nothing. Like I said in one of them other episodes back there, like me back in the day, yo, I didn't hide anything, yo. Like there was I nothing don't. that I hid. Like I was an open book, yo. Like I was who I was. And how I am is like, I am who I am. Mm-hmm. If I'm going to do something, I do it in my chest. I run from nothing. I'm head on with everything. Right. So, so Nikki was used to that. So I accidentally said something. Oh, I'm like, oh, I can't say it. That, said. So it that, was that. That's what it was. Yeah. So then I was like, yo, that. I can't say, I, I, yo, I, I can't tell you because the person said I can't say anything. So Nikki was in her field. Yeah, because bro. I'm like, yo, was it me specifically? They said I not to, to say do it. With you, fam. Or nice like, is it a that. mass thing? Like, am I the only one being left out? Chill. Like, what like, could you know that I can't know? You know what I mean? Everything is about you. <laughs> oh, like, but it is. I'm but joking, like, joking. Yeah, I remember that. And I was like, fam, if someone tells me something and tells me, tells me not to say anything, 
Yo, I don't care who it, I'm not saying nothing. What happened, like I said, it was a little slippage, like nothing even serious, but mm -hmm. she was like, what? I'm like, I can't Like, I knew nothing. nothing. I did mm -hmm. not know the situation. I didn't even know the person. It was like he was about to tell me the story, just out of a natural conversation. And then he was like, oh, oh. But then, maybe a couple months later, I was hit with the same thing. I knew some stuff about some people um, who also asked me not to say anything. Yeah. Dean knows these people also very well. I don't even remember that, but yeah. I, you don't? Okay, that's fine. And the same thing kind of happened. And when it came out, I was like, yeah, I, I've been knowing. Like, I, I, I kind of knew it was like the whole thing, but they asked me not to say anything. And it wasn't until that moment I was like, now I get why you said, like, mm -hmm. you know, you couldn't, like, because I'm, I'm in it. Like, I get it. You know what I mean? So it was a learning curve for me. And, um, you guys can tell us stuff. We're pretty loyal. I won't tell him. He will not no, tell I'm me. I'm not going to tell my wife. I'm not going to tell my wife, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if you say not yeah, to yeah. tell. Otherwise, it's all... And, and like I said, depending <laughs> on what it is. Like, yeah, yeah, some yeah. stuff, like, if you're about to tell me, I'll be like, yo, dog, don't even say that. Like, just, yo, just hold it down. Yo, do your thing, fam. Because, mm -hmm. yo, like... There it has are something boundaries. to do with us or it has something to do with her. Yeah, but if I'm, if I'm like, talking to someone and they're confiding in me about their, mm -hmm. their personal stuff... Uh, that's never ever getting brought up, bro. Yeah. Like it's just I I just can't do it. Like never. Mm -hmm. Some people that yo, you tell them something, and you say don't say nothing. Yo, immediately them them niggas get home, mm -hmm. babe. Yo, like yo, fam. This A B C D E F mm -hmm. and G. Like, that's true. What? <laughs> like, that's true. Yo, like yo, okay, that's that's kind of different, but like and that's, yeah. it's it's loyalty. Like mm -hmm. it, you you there are boundaries to this thing, and and just understanding your loyalty and. Being there for your friends where they need you to be there. Be a real friend. To yeah. Them, you know? Big facts. And yeah. They don't want their business out. Don't put their business out. Team loyalty. Yo. You already know. Yeah. All right. Well, next question. You got <laughs> my it. My turn. My turn. You got it. Do I want this one or this one? Um, I'm going to take this one. Which of the two is more important for you in a relationship? Loyalty or love? Guys. Loyalty. Right off the bat. But you think, yeah, because my thing, this is what I would say. I said, all right, yo, if you're in a relationship or if you're married and mm -hmm. your partner will either give you, lo will be loyal to you or not love you, would you rather that or have them love you with everything that they have or they say they love you with everything that yeah. they have? But every other night, man, they're out here in these streets. Right, right, right. You know, they're, they're, they're turned down. Tom, Dick, and Harry, you know? like it's, <laughs> it's all like popping. Like, what ba boom ba boom ba ba boom ba bam Right? Like, it's like, Fine. Yo, give me the other one. Yeah, yo, yeah, like, yeah. Yo, no, for, for Give sure. me the other one. To be honest, yo, give me both. Like, yo, that that's dumb. Mm -hmm. Like, but if like you had to pick one, I'm rocking loyalty, yo. Yeah, yo, facts. Like, it is, it is by low key by being loyal, kind of expressing some type of You gotta love me a love, little bit like, to be loyal yeah, to me. Yeah, There's gotta ten, be something, and I'll take that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that over you just <laughs> loving me and not being loyal to yeah. me because are you really then loving me it's like you don't love me yeah. so that don't even make no yeah, sense, don't make no sense. <laughs> like, yeah, throw it away <laughs> yeah, that's that <not. laughs> all right man yo all right yo, last but not least let's see what we got who do you prioritize <laughs> your partner or your child so let me tell you how we just had this conversation we today because yo nikki went was out a couple of hours. I didn't even. I didn't even ask her where she was out. Like what she was doing. She when was, was I out? Homegirl was out. Like, <laughs> you know, like homegirl, you was out. <laughs> like you know, let me tell you, you were you were out <laughs> out today. You right? About? You were gone for a little bit, little bit. Like <laughs> you were gone, and then you came home swiftly. Whatever. And just sneak through the door. Like, uh, uh. Uh, whatever. Didn't know I was up in the couch, but I was up. I was up. I was up. I was awake. And then your homegirl came for in. 30 minutes. Came in, saw her. And I went about her business. I'm like, uh -uh. Uh -uh. hello. Side like, note, she hello. crawled to me. Like, so I met her I was where like, she was. Hello, don't you see anybody else over here? Like, <laughs> like ding, ding. Like, you got a husband. <laughs> no. <laughs> She crawled to me and I met her where she was and I put her back down. I hailed you up <laughs> and I did what I had to do. I had gone grocery shopping. Did what I had to do. Like what? I had to get straight into mom wife mode, clean up the kitchen, pack out the Don't groceries. Don't say wife. Make mom, ma that's mom mode. Like, that's mom <laughs> mode. You should have came up to me and be like, yo, ah, baby, I see you. Ah, Time, ah, out. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Time out. I would Time never. Out. 
Time I would out. never, yo. Don't even Time out. Do yo, you I do that? Never. Not that it's a tit for tat I thing, would but never. do you do that? Who, me? When you come home. Me. Like me. Do, <laughs> Am do I the I first person you greet? The first. Guys, I'm not. Sometimes, let me tell you exactly what Dean <laughs> did this past Wednesday. What? You went and picked up Melody from daycare. Yeah. You came home with Melody in the house. Melody ran in the You're kitchen. To? Mommy, I want hugs. I want more hugs. First of all, she never does that. So I was loving on her. <laughs> Old man walked in the kitchen on his phone with his AirPods in both ears so he can't hear nothing. Talking to my shorty. A thousand percent. <laughs> he was talking to some shorty. So whoever you are, get off the phone around six till noon the next day. Don't be calling him. I'm joking. But he was on the phone. Put Melody's lunch bag on the counter and cut to the basement until to do some work until dinner time was served. Oh. Um, no, I didn't hear yeah, no did. hello. Let like, me hear it now. I was like, yo, what's up, babe? Like, you know, I miss you. And I was like, yo. Like, Lie? So happy, to, so happy to see you. Like, I was like, wow. Like, Say hi to me now. <laughs> I said, not, not so and that's how I came in. I said, wow. Like, <laughs> oh. I was like, I was stunned. Like, I came in and I was like, the beauty, I was like, like <laughs> you were mesmerized. Wow. <laughs> like, girl, you fly. I'm going to head downstairs. <laughs> well, girl, wow. You wish. <laughs> Anyways, there are times when we do do this stuff, but we're chill and we're friends and we we work. So yeah, like, you I understand. Mean, it's no ill intent. Yeah. The children before my partner in a season right now, it would appear that I do put my children first simply because... Oh! <laughs> get back to the question oh. it would appear that i do do that however i don't think that that is what i do you see it that way though yeah because I, I mean but in all honesty like they're helpless like what are we gonna do like we gotta like we gotta attend to them right now like what i say we gotta do though is like on honestly on everything we love just find more time for each other like even, even like right now so guys yo so we do a mentorship program with like yo look, kids from grade six to eight mm-hmm. every Monday and Thursday, right? So today's Thursday. Who knows when this episode's coming out, but it's Thursday. Mm-hmm. And so we drop our girls off at their city. Only to find out that today was canceled, right? Because the schools are on strike. So we had all the time in the world. We're just like, I right, bet yo, <laughs> we're gonna drop the girls off and it's gonna be us time. Then I was in meetings. <laughs> like and Nikki had to do her face to do the podcast. So now we're doing the podcast. This is a five minute face. Actually. Now now we're doing. So you, you took up all that time. <laughs> five minutes. All that time. Now we're doing the podcast. And immediately after doing this podcast, we got to go cut, get the girls. And now chilling time and we do but boom, 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 boom time is like out the window. Now we got to wait till 2 a.m. to get a pop in. Like, girl. Uh, <laughs> and it's also supposed to be our date night. Mm hmm. Guys, we've been so busy just trying to, like, get everything to fit and make sense in a week. It's so tough. Yo, but but we're, we're doing our best. But what, what we did for the first time, though, in our entire lives was actually make a schedule. Mm-hmm. Like, tell them about us making a schedule. Like, that's, like... It was a process. Foreign to us. <laughs> like, it was a process. The thing is, before marriage, before Dean and anything, that's my life. I have planners and agendas all the time. So, hold on. I ruined your life? Can Girl, I get to my story? Out. I ruined your life. <laughs> so I, I always be school. I'm always planning everything. I know when I'm going to do what. I know what days fall on what. That was it. But with the busyness and the chaoticness and everything, I was just free for all and just trying to fit everything in whenever. And we just kind of lived on a whim. Like we, we just did what we wanted to do when we wanted to do it. Now that we realized recently that we're like actual adults and there's so much to be done and we're not <laughs> tackling them all yeah. we had to make a schedule it took us what two weeks maybe mm-hmm. three mm-hmm. two and a half weeks to actually make a schedule but we made it yeah we're trying to live by it and we're gonna do it it's it's i i honestly i love seeing the calendar notification pop up on my phone like this is happening in five minutes this is happening in five minutes it's a lot but i like to know that that's happening yeah. So with each week that goes by, I want us to get more like everything. So get that workout actually done. Like it's on the calendar, but have Yo, not man, done it so once. So first of all, you know? we were supposed to work out yesterday. Yeah. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. We didn't even talk about it. Until, this is actually the first time we're talking about it. 
Like we let each other down big time because it was like, too hard. Yo, girl, we did not, we didn't do it. Like yeah. we, we just brushed past it. Look at oh, work out. Oh, X. <laughs> like, okay, next. What's next? Like, like how are we next that? Like, yo, we gotta work out. Like, no, so the next I'm workout day tomorrow. Big, big, bro. Like, jeez. But yeah, like honestly, I think it's it's beneficial and it helps, man, because we were getting so like bombarded mm-hmm. and like everything was just chaotic and all over the place, and we're just like, yo, what are we doing? You know, like. We're getting so busy. I was getting burnt out. Like, man, I'm telling mm-hmm. you, like, I was finished. I felt like I was about to have another hospital visit. Because what happens with me, guys, like, I go so hard, like, and and, and I got to chill. But I go hard, hard, hard. And mm-hmm. I grind, 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 grind. And then the next thing you know, my body shuts down. But when I realize it is too late and I'm in a hospital, right? So It's happened on more than three right. occasions. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it, it happens, and it happens, like, frequently. So... What I'm trying to do now is, all right, just balance, right? Me, I'm a person, I want to see everybody win. I'm always trying to, like, yo, all right, yo, go the extra mile for mm-hmm. people. But sometimes, yo, you got to, like, just sit back, relax, and take, like, you time. And you can't save everybody at the same time, mm-hmm. right? So that that's something that I was trying to do and it just didn't work, yo. So I get burnt out and end up in the hospital. Then I got to just, like, yo, take a week off, two weeks off, because my body just can't physically do it. Mm-hmm. And I'm just drained, right? So... Having the, the schedule, you have to look at it and see things. So what we did was like, yo, all right, everything that we do, look at it. All right, yo, what could what can we do without? Like, yeah, yeah. Yo, we don't. I don't need to. I do not need to have this meeting every single day. I do not have to talk about this. Oh, like, all right, we could take this off the schedule. Mm-hmm. Have this one time a week. Blah right. blah blah. And you could see it, like, and it helped. So mm-hmm. that's dope. And you've grown a lot in terms of just mm-hmm. like noticing the cues. Like he yeah. would go from morning till dusk and dawn before eating yeah Yeah. sir you will die you must eat you have to consume something so i think he's now paying attention to his body cues and so good growth that's good for you i'm proud of you for that um and guys, whenever he leaves the house, I pack snacks. Don't, don't, yeah, yeah, don't get it twisted. Nah, she I pack is him with some snacks because I can't afford stuff. him to be passing out anymore. <laughs> like, Calling me out of my bed, yeah, like, fine yeah. man at the hospital. I can't deal with that. No, nah, she's the queen of that. And she sometimes she'll go the whole nine yards. I come back home. I didn't even crack they the They don't lid. touch the stuff. Like the zipper didn't even like your bust through little bit. Like, I found a banana in your bag. <laughs> like, you didn't eat your banana, <laughs> <laughs> it would be like that, man. But like, yo, it's it's a it's a journey. It's a process, man. You're not gonna get it all. Yeah, but you're doing start, better, man. So you know, we're moving now. Like, baby steps. Like I said, one percent. Want me to be a hundred percent better after day one? Like, give, <laughs> me grace, give me that's some grace, man. Give me some grace. But yeah, man, you guys already know, man. That's the episode. We're not trying to do this too long. We gotta go pick the girls up, so we actually gotta cut. <laughs> like. We've been supposed to come, but we threw this in because, you know, accountability. We say we're about to do something, mm-hmm. so that means we got to do it regardless. Yeah. Right? So, you guys already know, man. You already know. You got to choose purpose over fair. There's a whole entire audience out there waiting on your yes. So, we're challenging you to say yes today. Yes to the will of God for your life. Yes to whatever it is that you know that you were put on this planet to do. We hope and pray that you accomplish it, and we trust that you will because greater is your destiny. Greater mm-hmm. is for you. Greater is your portion. And we're looking forward to hearing your greater to- your greater story. Right? So you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Dean. And your girl, Nikki. And we out. Peace.